Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create MIDI accent notes in Reaper. I have a project in front of me right here, and I've already programmed a kick and a rim shot. Let's hear it. Pretty simple. And we're hearing this because I have some drum software already on this track. Right here. But I want to add a hi-hat part on top. And we could draw it in in the MIDI editor. Let's double click the MIDI item, which opens up the MIDI editor. Here's my kick and my rim shot. So now we're going to add a hi-hat part. Now we could drag the notes to insert them like this. That's going to take too long. So instead, we could draw it in by painting notes. Alt Control on the PC, Option Command on the Mac, and just drag through the whole line to draw in those notes based on the grid size we set up, which is eighth notes right now. Let's bring up the velocity completely. But it doesn't sound very natural because every note is hit the same volume or velocity. That's not going to sound very natural. So instead, we could select every other note like this. And bring those volumes or velocities down like this. And that sounds more natural, but we could do it quicker with this trick. Let's delete all of them. Right click, delete. Let's change our grid to be quarter notes. Then we could draw it in again, bring the volumes all the way up. Now we just have quarter notes. Now we could switch it to eighth notes, select them all, and trim them. So the duration is just an eighth note long. So now we could duplicate them, control on the PC, command on the Mac, like this. And now every other note is already selected. So it's a lot quicker than selecting each one individually. Now we could adjust the velocity right here. Again, it sounds more natural. And we can do the same thing with 16th notes. Let's start again. Let's put it back to quarter notes. Paint in the quarter notes. Bring the volumes up. Switch this to 16th notes. Change the duration to a 16th note. Then duplicate it to the next 8th note which doesn't sound very natural. Change the velocities. And duplicate them again for 16th notes. Put this one here. And duplicate them again for the last 16th note. To hear this better, let's delete these notes. That sounds a lot more natural compared to this. No one plays the hi-hat like that. And we can adjust this to be lower. Or one of my favorites, we could accentuate the last 16th note by making this louder. Right now, it's loud, low, medium, and low. Let's bring this up. Sounds very different. Again, without these,
It's a much more natural way of creating accents for these MIDI sounds. Let's try the same thing with the four top. Let's delete these. Let's switch this to quarter notes. Go to our four tom, paint them in. Switch it to sixteenths. Select them all. Trim it down. Duplicate them to the next eighth note and adjust the level. Notice how much more natural that sounds before and after. If you want 16th notes, just duplicate it over here, adjust the level. Duplicate it again. Or accent it like this. To make it sound more like a drummer would play. Let's try the same thing with a ride cymbal. Switch it to quarter notes. Draw it in, switch it to 16th notes, select them, trim it, duplicate it, and adjust the velocity. And if we want 16th notes, We can move just this note to the bell. Let's hear it like this. Again, it sounds more natural. Now we could also use triplets. Let's switch this back to quarter notes. Let's use a closed hi-hat and draw it in. Switch it to eighth notes, but change this to triplets. Select them all, trim it to just one triplet, then duplicate it one at a time and adjust the level. Duplicate it again. Again, creating more natural sounding performance. And we can do the same thing with swing. So undo that. Let's switch it from eighth note triplet to eighth note swing. Trim this down. Duplicate it to here. Now we have a swing feel. We can adjust the velocity for every other note right here. And do the same thing for the ride. Again, making it sound as natural as possible. Hey, Kenny from the future here. One more thing I wanted to add to this video. Let's say we set this up with the hi-hat. Let's use quarter notes and paint them in and switch it to sixteenths, trim it down, and duplicate it, just the level, make it a sixteenth, duplicate that. Well, let's say 
we lost our selection. So we don't want to have to select each group separately. We can do that easier after the fact using filter events. Just type F and the filter events dialog opens up. Then choose a note from the group you want to adjust. Let's choose the first one. Then choose set filter from selection and change the repeat to every quarter note and set selection. And now it just selects the first note in each phrase. So if we want to change the volume of just that one or the eighth note. Set filter from selection, change this to quarter note, set selection, and now it just selects the eighth note. And the same thing with this 16th note. And this one. So if you happen to lose your selection, we could always get it back with the filter events. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create MIDI accented notes in Reaper. Hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!